Hello again, I'm back and it's Christmas Day again. And as you all can see here, I'm in my bedroom and on my bed are my Christmas presents for this year. And without further ado, let's show you what I've got. First off, I finally got a Hornby British Railways Black Livery Large Great Western Prairie. I've been to the um, I've been to the Cotswolds on holiday last month and got the Great Western Dark Dark Green Green Prairie last month and I like this one very I like that one very much and as well as uh, the uh, green Great Western Prairie that I got for my holidays I like the black one as well I saw this one as well as the uh, the other green one and I was almost gonna get that one as well as the last one that I've got and then instead I wanted both uh, steam and diesel just to make it much more uh, my like so I feel like I've done the right thing at the time so yep we've got the black livery great western prairie and I am really looking forward to running it on the track when I unbox it I can't show you much on the box and stuff all except the engine at the top and at the front but I can show you like the uh the inside of it as you can see I don't normally do this but it is gonna be interesting I can assure you all right um here's the loco in the ice cube uh, packaging here it is and I will unbox that later after the video is uh, finished and remember I'm not here to here for just uh, this uh, present. I am here to like film the rest and stuff. There you go. This slides off pretty well in the end. So this is my great Western Prairie in the black livery. My second present I want to show you all is the Hornby Colas Railway at uh, Colas Rail Freight Class 66. And his name is David Maidment OBE. <laughs> yep. And I like this one. And it's one of my favourites out of the lot. Like I said with the Great Western Prairie in Black Livery. There isn't much there isn't much on the box except for the pictures of the loco. But But what I can say is I am I am uh, building my collection of diesels and I'm starting off with the Class 66s. I was almost going to get a Class 08 uh, diesel this year, but it didn't arrive in time. So I'm spending some Christmas money on that. So, so like I said, I'm on the hunt for Class 08 shunters as well as uh, Class 66s. And I have a red... Class 66, DB, I can't really pronounce the last uh, name because it's German. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's German. And I really like the look of this one, as well as the uh, green prairie and the black prairie in the shop at the uh, Cotswolds on my holiday. I saw this one as well. I was almost gonna get that one, but I had another Class 66 as well as the Green Prairie. And now that I've got the Black Prairie and this diesel, well, it's all worked out well in the end. And we've got the, in the, and we've got in the old style Hornby Railroad packaging, the, The Hornby D49 Hunt slash the Cotswold number 
seven six zero. The Cotswold, named after the place that I went to for my Christmas holiday, the Cotswolds. Now I have the Cotswold. I can't wait to run that on my track, as well as my uh, uh, two diesels and my Black Prairie over there. So, yep, out of all the Christmas presents, these four are one of my favourites. And I've got some Ted Baker Skinwear. That's after shave, apparently. Duh. From London. I have one of the Star Wars Black Series 6-inch figures. Starting with Bo-Katan. And she's from The Mandalorian. Yeah. She's pretty an she's a pretty interesting character, and I am taking a liking to her at the moment, cause she's a Mandalorian. And we've got Moff Gideon. I like him cause he's freaking awesome. I like uh, his face expression. For some reason, I find it. I think it looks pretty funny, and I actually find it funny. Sorry, I just. I, it just looks amusing, doesn't it? Oh. I've got uh, from uh, the gaming great and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Night Brother Warrior. See? Pretty good. Pretty cool, huh? From the Bad Batch, we've got the uh, Imperial Clone Shock Trooper. Imperial Clone Shock Trooper, is that supposed to be a clone trooper working for the Empire or something like that? And I've got from Solo, uh, I mean Star Wars Solo, which I prefer to call it really, is Lando Calrissian from the old style Black Series 6 inch uh, boxes. And he is number 65. And also from the... Uh, 50th anniversary of LucasArts and from the Archive Wave, we've got the Shaw Trooper from Rogue One. They seem to make him cheaper now, rather than just make the old figures expensive and stuff, which makes it easier because it shows you like the uh, timeline of LucasArts and stuff, the year and stuff. So, yeah, you guys get that, don't you? As a Star Wars fan, I guess. And from the Dragon Star series, I've got Master Roshi. Now, to be honest, I am comp I am completely uh, unsatisfied with the back because it only has three figures and not all six, which clearly doesn't make it enough because um, it started off with them two in just. Uh, one wave and it really didn't make it enough in the uh, last boxes that I got them in so yeah I'm hoping they'll make new ones and make it enough for this wave and stuff I also got a heavy duty helping hand with 60 millimeter magnifying glass apparently it's supposed to help me uh, see things when I'm working on my projects and uh, uh, hold things and stuff because lately I've been working on a few other projects that I really can't give away until until I finish them because I don't want to spoil it for you all. I am making projects at the moment and I do not want to give them away until I show them you all. So, so... All in good time, 
I'm afraid. I've got an Ev an official Everton annual because I'm a fan of Everton. And a Star Wars villain's official calendar. We've got Sidious, Darth Sidious, Darth Maul, Darth Vader and Kylo Ren. And it shows you all these Sith Lords and villains at the back, which looks absolutely awesome. And we've got Boba Fett as the main calendar the character at the front, as the main uh, uh, character at the back as well. And I have some Christmas pyjamas, apparently. So yeah, that's all my Christmas presents for this year. And I really hope you've all enjoyed it and are pretty much impressed with what I've showed you all today. So that's it for today's video. I hope you all have, I hope you all enjoy your very Merry Christmas and stay safe to all of you. And I'll be back again for another video. So farewell for now.